Hello everyone, we present a novel practical stereo matching method via cascaded recurrent network with adaptive correlation. Stereo matching is a classical research topic of computer vision, and it has a wide range of applications in the real world, including autonomous driving, augmented reality, 3D model reconstruction, simulated bokeh rendering on smartphones, and so on. The goal of stereo matching, given a pair of rectified images, is to compute the displacement between two corresponding pixels, namely, disparity. To handle various scenes in everyday consumer photography, we are faced with some major obstacles. Firstly, it is difficult to recover intricate details of fine structures, especially in high-resolution images. Secondly, perfect rectification is hard to obtain for real-world stereo image pairs due to inconsistent camera modules, making stereo estimation even harder. Thirdly, repetitive texture or regions with occlusion are still typical hard cases for stereo matching. Finally, it is hard to obtain accurate ground truth disparities in real-world scenes. Next, we will describe how we handle such difficulties. We propose a novel model structure to extract fine details and overcome non-ideal rectification, and we design a new synthetic stereo dataset to boost the performance for various hard cases. Unlike existing algorithms, we only match points in small local windows instead of computing global correlation for every pixel. Specifically, we propose an adaptive group correlation layer, AGCL, to reduce matching ambiguity. To deal with non-ideal stereo rectification cases, we adopt a 2D and 1D alternate local search strategy. With learned additional offsets, we use an adaptive search window for correlation pairs generation similar to deformable convolution. In addition, we split the feature map into groups to compute group-wise correlation. This is an overview of our proposed network. A pair of images are fed into two shared weight feature extractors to produce a three-level feature pyramid, which is used to compute different scales of correlations. In each stage of the cascades, the features and the predicted disparities are refined iteratively using the recurrent update module, RUM, with an exponentially weighted multi-level loss as supervision. For each iteration in RUM, the GRU blocks update current prediction and feed it to the AGCL with learned offsets. This structure well preserves the fine detailed object edges and alleviates ambiguity in non-ideal rectification cases as well as on non-texture areas. During inference phase, downsampling is necessary for high-res images to enlarge the receptive field, which may result in deterioration for features of small objects with large displacement. To solve this problem, we designed a stacked cascaded architecture for inference to take advantage of multi-level context. For a specific stage of the stacked cascades, denoted as rows in the figure, all the rums in that stage will be used followed by the last rum in next stage of higher resolution. All stages of the stacked cascades share the same weight during training, so no fine-tuning is needed. Compared to previous synthetic datasets, our dataset devotes extra attention to challenging cases in real-world scenes. We collect over 40,000 3D models of objects with various shapes as the basic source content with textures from real-world as the surface, and we place different types of lights with random color and luminance at random position. Furthermore, to cover different baseline settings, we ensure the disparities distribute smoothly within a wide range. So far, our method ranks first on both Middlebury and ETH3D benchmarks and achieves competitive performance on Kiti among published methods. Our method not only outperforms existing state-of-the-art methods by a notable margin, but also exhibits high-quality details in fine structures. Here we show qualitative comparisons for different methods on Holopex 50K dataset. Our method has a significant advantage in thin objects like cat whiskers and wire meshes. We also achieve better performance on textureless areas like walls and windows. We also simulate common disturbances in practical scenes including image blur, color transform, spatial distortion and so on. The results demonstrate that our method is more robust than others. Here we show more results on Holopex 50K. Our method achieves high accuracy for arbitrary scenes and preserves superior details for various fine structured objects such as net wires and wheel spokes. More results can be found on our paper and supplementary material. Thank you for listening. For more information about our code and datasets, please visit our website.